What inspired you to start taking gaming seriously? When did it stop being a casual pastime and start becoming a pursuit of skill and rank? A mission of mastery fueled by passion? While it's difficult to pinpoint a specific moment for myself, there are a few keystone events that completely shifted my own identity from a casual gamer to a competitive gamer, where I began to see my own gaming through the lens of possibility, suddenly aware of how far I could take my own skills with a little dedication. Now the first of these moments, and one that you'll likely find relatable, was when I saw an esports documentary. Now not too long after seeing that documentary, I started getting deeply into MOBAs myself, specifically League of Legends. And that year I closely followed Worlds, admiring some of the greatest players like Mata, Uzi, and Bjergsen. Now before seeing Worlds or watching that documentary, I was definitely aware of esports, but my personal view of gaming was pretty casual. But after these experiences, it seemed to have completely flipped a switch in me. Suddenly when I was playing the game, I had these players in the back of my mind, and with that, a deep-seated desire to play just like them. And I assume that most of you had similar moments, where you saw a major tournament or watched an esports documentary and felt that feeling of, holy shit, this is cool, and this is something that I want to be a part of. But where does that feeling come from, and what kind of effect does it really have? In his book, The Talent Code, Daniel Coyle discusses a powerful aspect of human psychology, which explains the impact that these kind of inspiring moments can have. He mentions how a single event is able to trigger an explosion of interest and talent, not just in a single individual, but an entire society. From the outside looking in, it's like a firework that shoots off into the air and then bursts into a thousand colorful pieces. And if that firework catches the right attention, then others might be motivated to shoot off fireworks of their own, creating a light show of passion and talent. From the success of Korean golfers to Russian tennis players, Daniel Coyle covers a few powerful examples. But one that stands out is the boom of baseball on a small island in the Caribbean called Curacao. It all started with a single moment in Yankee Stadium on October 20th, 1996. The situation seemed unpromising for Atlanta Braves fans as the 19-year-old Curacaoan rookie named Andrew Jones walked up to the plate during the opening game. The pitcher, with years of experience on him, confidently threw a slider, expecting it to result in a ground ball and ideally getting him out. But Andrew surprised everyone as he knocked the pitch into the stands. And this moment caught a lot of attention. A kid from a remote island making a fool out of the Yankees. But Jones wasn't even finished. In the very next inning, he did it again. Now, immediately after this game, Jones was surrounded by media coverage, hailing this unsuspecting kid from Curacao and his impressive skills. And for those living in Curacao, this event was an inspiration. Suddenly, the game that they enjoyed playing for fun was an opportunity for greatness. Someone exactly like them was not only able to make it off the islands and play in the big leagues, but now he was a baseball star. And a few weeks later, at Curacao's Little League signups, 400 new kids arrived, ready to play like Jones. And this inspiration wasn't short-lived. In the Little League World Series, where qualifying two consecutive years is considered remarkable, these Curacao boys made it to the semifinals six times in eight years, winning the title in 2004 and finishing second in 2005. And this story seems to highlight something extremely powerful about inspiring moments, the kind that you have likely experienced in esports. But this isn't the full picture. He's right next to Curacao is the island of Aruba, an island that is identical in many ways, including their love of baseball. Aruba even had their own major league player, Sidney Ponson, who in 1996 was considered a better prospect than Andrew Jones. Ponson even had early success, which sparked a wave of inspiration among Aruba's Little League players. 
Now, the two islands were identical in many ways, yet the spark of inspiration stayed alive in Curacao and died out in Aruba. But why is this? Well, for Aruba players, their spark of inspiration was attached to a player whose career fizzled out. The Aruba pitcher City Ponson turned out to have a drinking problem, bounced around to several teams, gained weight, and was even arrested in 2004. And as his career declined, it caused him to lose more and more support. Suddenly, kids didn't want to be like him anymore, and as a result, they slowly stopped caring about the game. Andrew Jones, on the other hand, continued to inspire the youth of Curacao, as he became a 5-time All-Star and a 10-time Gold Glove center fielder. Now, Jones' success was translated and amplified on the island, creating constant signals of inspiration to those who wanted to be like him and believed they could. Now, a key takeaway is that an inspirational event is most powerful when there are constant reminders of it. If you see a basketball player that you like, you could start following their team religiously in an attempt to get constant cues of motivation from watching every game. But how many times during that typical game do you actually get to see that player on the court? And during that time, how much are they the center of attention? Well, this is where esports is unique. When you are inspired by a pro esports player, you're no longer limited to just watching their professional games. Now, you're able to see them in esports vlogs and streams where you get hours of interaction with them on a constant basis. And this is powerful for two reasons. The first is that this maintains the initial spark of motivation. And the second is that it gives a much deeper connection to them on a personal level. And every connection, every minor similarity, creates a deep effect on your motivation. Now that second point is important. Our level of personal connection to a role model directly affects how much impact that they can have on us. In fact, one study shows that when we connect to a role model on a basic but personal level, we're over 65% more motivated by them. And again, I can't stress how much frequency is important here. If you have a favorite athlete, you rarely get to see them in interviews or real interactions where you can connect with them on a personal level. But in esports, you get this all the time. And this feeling is much more important than you think, and it's bigger than just you and I. Consider how this effect, this feeling of inspiration, can multiply on a much bigger scale. As more fans become increasingly inspired and motivated to play and improve, their own skill increases much faster. Their pursuit of mastery is buffered by a constant supply of motivation. And on a larger scale, we're going to see a massive surge in highly skilled players who then go on to inspire others in the exact same way. And the potential here is unlike anything we've ever seen on a global scale. In the same way we learned about the Aruba baseball scene, we can look to professional athletes that break through into their own scene and look at most of them like a single firecracker that shoots up into the sky, wows a couple people, but then fizzles out before it makes a real impact. Their inspiration has an effect, but it's usually short-lived and quick to evaporate. But in esports, this cycle of role models and constant motivation has a ton of potential. Every inspiring figure is able to reach much farther and much deeper. This kind of reach will inevitably strike a chord that leads to new players rising up and becoming role models themselves. And so, in esports, it's as if for every firework, for every inspirational player, there are many that follow in response. And right now, when we look to the esports scene, we're only seeing the beginning, the start of this firework show. But eventually, as we continue this pattern, there will be a new inspirational figure everywhere we look. It'll be as if the entire sky is filled with fireworks of inspiration, an immaculate array of color and light capturing the attention of everyone, inspiring the masses, and creating a very bright future for esports. Now, if you want to rank up and improve your gaming skills as fast as possible, then I highly recommend checking out our new esports course. 
It's essentially a boot camp style step by step course that teaches you how to train like a pro so that you can blast through skill plateaus and start making real progress. It includes over 50 short videos that go far beyond the tips mentioned in any of our YouTube videos and combine scientific research on how to enhance your motor skills and learning as well as professional level esports advice. It then combines all of the lessons into a 66 day challenge that you can use to make massive progress towards your esports goals. So, if you want to improve your mechanical skills and game knowledge over the next 66 days, then join now using the link in the description. And of course, this video is also brought to you by our very own supplements called E-Advantage. In short, E-Advantage is a cheaper, healthier, and much more effective alternative to energy drinks. If you want to get insane focus without the jitters and sugar crash, and you want to play at the peak of your ability during important games, then I highly recommend it. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can find a link for it in the description below. And of course, I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, then leave a comment below and let me know what your biggest takeaway is. And as I usually do, I will be responding to every single comment posted within the first few days. So let me know what you think. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.